Worldwide, guys. It's Wednesday, July 16, 2008. And let me just say, everyone here at Sims Productions, we are sorry for the technical difficulties we have been having with uploading the video to YouTube and editing it with Sony, but we're back, and here is Y News. <laughs> That's all we have. All right, and y'all, man, where I guess it's legal to marry a 30 year old guy when you're 10, who could have guessed that 30 year old guy would be a rape to 10 year old girl? I could guess. I really could. Not a child. Here's a video we stole from CNN. <laughs> Nijud Ali is every inch a child, and yet at just 10, she has already been married and divorced. The very portrait of innocence, a shy smile, felt a playful nature. It makes her story all the more moving as she calmly narrates it. When I got married, I was afraid. I didn't want to leave home. I wanted to stay with my brothers and sisters and my mom and dad. But it was her parents who married off Nijud in February to a man more than three times her age. I didn't want to sleep with him, but he forced me to. He hit me and insulted me. Must have been tortured. Yeah. Beautiful video under Child Bride on our website, SimsProductions.ws. A murder suspect called 911 to give himself up, but the dispatcher who took the call told told him she couldn't help because he needed to find his own ride to jail. Here is the video. Cristobal Jaime shot and killed Manuel Martinez. Jaime drove past his ex-girlfriend's Michigan Avenue house, saw her with Martinez, then returned with a gun. He's a young a young man who, who made a mistake, obviously, and took the life of an innocent person who had no involvement in this, and uh, he'll have to pay the consequences for the crime he committed. Three days later, Hymetz called 911 to turn himself in, or at least he tried to. To turn yourself in, you got to go to the loose there at jail. How am I going to do that? Um, have, take a car, a bus, whatever, but you have to turn, they won't come pick you up, you just got to turn yourself in. That operator never even asked Hymetz why he was wanted. A short time later, he called back and got a different operator who took the 18-year-old seriously and asked all the right questions. What kind of warrant is it? Is it a felony warrant? What's the sort of stuff up? I'm sorry, you're calling at 710 Ann Arbor. You're at a bus stop? Whoa. Give me my name. The operator got his name, location, and sent police over to pick him up. Okay. We'll get an officer out there, sir. All right. Thank you. Bye. The operator who spoke to wanted murder suspect Chris L. James is still employed by the city of Dallas and as of Tuesday had not been disciplined for her actions. To wrap things up here, police found thousands of marijuana plants being grown in a remote part of a Girl Scout police found a hit marijuana farm with, with plants in various stages of cultivation in a wooded swampy area of Kosciuszko County. According to documents filed Monday in the U.S. District Court in South Bend, some of the plants were growing on land belonging to a local resident, while the folk about 5,000 plants were grown on camp land. State troopers and an airplane spotted the, plot, spotted the plants Police found a hidden marijuana farm with plants in various stages of cultivation in the wooded Pompey area. Oh, wait. Some of the plants were growing on land belonging to local residents, while the bulk, about 5,000 plants, were growing on a camp line. See, we're having trouble with the teleprompter here. All right, okay, we're fixing that. Sir Troopers in an airplane spotted the plots. Parents of campers were informed of the discovery when they picked up their children. That's all we have for you guys. Remember to check out simsproductions.ws right there and click on Y News to find this video or subscribe to Y News at youtube.com slash Y News for You. This is the
Ben Simmons, and I'm out. Dude, I'm out of here. Dude, I'm out of here. Wait, dude, I'm out of here.